Welcome to the J Games Strap. Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to a brand new series. Today we are going to be getting into Fallout New Vegas. We're going to be starting this for the first time for me. Uh, so hopefully things go well. We got Turbo in the chat. Yo, yo, yo. My man Jake. Stremmin. Heck yeah, buddy. We out here. We freaking out here. So let's go ahead and uh, start a new game. Yes. Don't get me with the copyright claims. I'm gonna get hit with copyright claims. Turbo says classic Jake muting himself. Yes, absolutely. I always do. What are your thoughts on the Fallout New Vegas, Turbo? Very loud, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, oh, dang. I thought I turned the volume down, but I, it still seems a little funky. Still seems a little bit too loud. <laughs> I'll have to adjust it again. War. War never changes. When Service atomic it. fire consumed the <laughs> earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. Okay, okay. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world. Interesting. And the great walls spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Oh boy. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Hmm. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn. Was that me that just got For dead? Worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Oh, Maybe cons oh. kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
Turbo said you currently look like a father with that small beard. Is that an insult to the beard? It's coming back. It's coming back. I think I got the edition with all DLC, so I think I'm going to have a bunch of stuff here. And uh, Turbo also says it looks good so far. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. You're awake. What an intro. Absolutely. I, I was shot in the beginning. How about that? I know, now I'm awake. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, you say no, no insults? What shall we name this character here, Turbo? Um, I think the audio is going to be fine now. I think it was just that intro, like, had... For some reason, maxed out audio. We'll start with a J, because you know my name starts with a J. But then the rest, what, what do we what do we put in for the rest? What do we call on this feller? Let's see if we have we have uh, some thoughts. <laughs> He says Bab Babzel. All right, so it's uh, I'm gonna take the B off. I'm gonna call him Jab Jabzel. How's that? Because it's gonna start with a J. There we go. Jabzel. Is that something bad in your language, or is that just random stuff? But if that's your name, that's your name. What's wrong with Jabzel? It's a good name. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. My noggin's all frigged up, huh? How'd I do? Oh, oh, what is this? Just random stuff? Okay, good. <laughs> I can see you, you or Cap, like, sending me some, uh... Oh, we can pick a race? Okay, we'll be male, Caucasian, face. Um, I can see you or a cap just give me some, like, swear word in your language or something. Also, yeah, another thing I named on your channel. Yeah, right on. It pays to be here. What do we think of that guy? I think I'm going to give him more beard. Wh whatever I go with, he's going to have more beardage, but as far as, like, the face to start with. I think that I'm going to go with this feller. Um, we'll customize. Age, let's keep him young. Um, let's see, customize. Shape, tone, eye color. We'll give him some dark brown eyes, of course. Or hazel. Maybe hazel. No, we'll go dark brown. Tone. Um, I think I'm not going to go too crazy with all this, but beard... I'm not seeing any beard. Are you seeing any beard? Maybe we have to go into hair for beard? Hairstyle. Buzz cut. Um, suave shit. Pterosaur. Punked. It's like a, a terror morph. So far I named the sea truck, the prawn from sub below zero, and now this guy. Yeah. Hey, I added the J, so there's there's that. Uh, let's go with blast back because that's I think the most like what I kind of actually have and Hair color we make it a little darker. I think Not not gray not Dark whatever what that's brown. That doesn't look brown. That looks like a an almost gray We'll go with suede pecan Auburn ginger honey gold rosewood we're going to go back to, uh, we'll go with that, I think. Turbo's a, he's a pretty good namer. You, you got some good names that you, um, they throw out there, so appreciate it. Survivalist. I think survivalist is the way to go. We could do goatee, gunslinger. We could do a whole bunch of different stuff. There was the one it started with. Honest Abe, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think um, survival is the best option out here. All right, there we go. That's the feller. That's uh, Jibzol. 
Is that Jabzoli or Jabzol? Which, how do we pronounce this? Alright, we're gonna be done. Uh, yes, this is gonna be my character. Uh, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Mr. Jabzoli. Let's see if we can get you on Ooh. your feet. Getting up that don't seem too good. Don't seem like I'm doing alright. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Okay. Take it slow now. It Jabzol? Ain't race. You don't like Jabzoli? Take it slow. Whoa, I'm kind of zooming. Should I steal from this guy? He like kind of... Holy crap, why am I zooming? Ooh, looking oh. good so far. Okay, if I hold caps, Go ahead and give the I can walk. A try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. All right, we're checking out the vigor. Uh, you say no? No jabs only? Okay. All right. All right, then. So, strength. Uh, average Joe, I think we'll probably stay with that. Melee, unarmed, inventory, weight, uh, damage, weapon effectiveness. He's jabs only. I think we'll stick with average on that one. Perception... Oh, lockpick. We'll, we'll up that because we want lockpick to be up. We definitely... Oh, what do I do here? Okay. Endurance. Um, unarmed health resist. I like health, so I'm going to do an up on that. Survival. Yes, that's good. He's written Jabzol, but the pronunciation is Jabzol. You just wrote... <laughs> you wrote the same thing. Three times. <laughs> I think I got you. Let's up our charisma, too. I think I want to be a better barter, speech, and companion stuff. Let's go up to diplomat. I'm going to go bonkers on the charisma. Intelligence. Should I be smart? I'm going to be smart. I'm going to be gifted. Agility. I guess we got nothing. Luck, we got nothing. That's good. We'll, we'll get more as we level up, right? I think we're good on that. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there. But after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. <laughs> Turbo you says, say you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You my couch and we go through a couple of questions. See if your dogs are still barking. Why does he say couch so weird? Take a seat on my couch. Why don't you take a seat on my couch? Oh, hey, I'm going to steal some stuff. I hope you don't mind. Before I take a seat on your couch, I'm gonna steal some stuff. Cause you're you said that kind of weird, you know. And I'm not a fan of, not a fan of that. Oh yeah, whatever this is, I'm taking it. Is that some rounds? Ooh yeah, first aid. Oh frig yeah, bobby pins, uh, stim pack. I don't want empty syringe, but yeah, we'll take the the good stuff. Cram? Yes, I like cram. I'm working on getting my way over there, buddy. Just chill for a minute, because I gotta steal your stuff. You got any good stuff in the kitchen? Detergent, Abraxo, uh, yeast. Okay, sure, sure. What does Abraxo even do? Got any food? Use some food. I don't really like how I have to... Oh, you got anything in the toilet house? He's going to be the mastermind behind everything? I don't believe that Doc, he's going to betray you, be the mastermind behind everything? You know, I don't actually know. I'm going to... Um... Did I just... Did I just drink out of the toilet? Hold on, let me close the door here. I don't want anybody to, to see this. Just guessing, says Turbo? Yeah, I don't know, actually, because like I said, I've never... I have not played through this before, so... Okay, let's listen. It, I, it didn't sound like I flushed the toilet. It sounded like something else. I think I just drank... I think I just drank out of the toilet. Don't tell the doc. Oh, don't tell the doc. Okay, I'm gonna come to his couch. Wait, he's got stuff in his bedroom, doesn't he? What do you got in here? Oh, you got some 9mm rounds you're trying to hide from me. You dinglehopper. I'm glad I'm stealing your stuff. 
At first, I felt a little bad about it, but now I'm like, I'm, I'm good with it. All right, I'll have a seat. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Think about dog. it. I'll think about it. Dog, uh, we feed the dog. House. Um, investment, yeah. Night. Jake, you, you disgusting. Hey, I, I thought I was going to use the toilet or flush it. I didn't think I was going to drink the toilet. Um, they say light or night. I'm going to go sleep. Bandit. Oh, bandit. We're going to frig up the bandit. We're going to stab light. the bandit. Uh, light. Um, torch. Mother. Caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want like you to a... tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. They're like psychoanalyzed First, right now. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I agree with that. I, I don't strongly agree, but I agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Turbo says, is that useless excuses I hear? There's no, like, it doesn't say drink from the toilet or flush the toilet. It just says activate. <laughs> so how, do I, how did I know I was going to drink from the toilet? Uh, what did he even say right now? Can I hear the option again? I guess I'm just gonna agree. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, I disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. I uh, I agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. What does that look like? A broken chain, a chemical reaction. Shadow in a door frame, an oozing wound, an angry two-headed ant. I could see the, I could see two ants maybe. Two-headed ant. It looks like ant pinchers, or a beetle. Um, I'm gonna say it's a chemical okay. reaction. How about this one? Turbo says I saw what I saw. That was on purpose. Nah, dude. Nah. I, well. I, the first time was not on purpose. The second time, I, or the third time, maybe was on purpose, okay? But, you know, come on. What do we see here? Is that like a ship at sea? Ace Age technology? I think it's a ship at sea. Because you got the water and you got, like, this is the front of the boat. I think I could see that. Last one. A bearded man. I don't see that. Mushroom cloud. Uh, head on a pillow. Light and dark. Yeah, maybe it's like a flashlight and the rest around here is darkness. I don't know. We'll, we'll go with that. Well, that's all she wrote. So am I crazy, Doc? I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Am I bonkers in the head? Oh, God, I'm bonkers in the head. Oh, great. Frig. Sure. This is fine. It's it's okay. We're done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical. I'm already history. bonkers in the head, Jim. What do you formality. want from me? Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Oh, my family's got a his. <laughs> That's not good. So you're saying you enjoy drinking in the second time and the third time? Because why would you drink from a toilet more than once? Uh, I, no, no. Built to destroy, flamer burns twice as bright. I don't even have flamer. I don't know what, I'm not probably not going to use that. Claustrophobia, probably not. Early bird, I like to get up early in the morning and go to sleep early at night. I guess I'll go with that, right? But do I really want to go in game? Do I want to go to bed early? 20% quickly, but 20% less. I can pick two. Hoarder. Gain 25 pounds of your carrying. I like that. I hate having low carrying weight. That's so annoying. Like I said before, I probably said this many times. I wish games would just kind of give you, like, especially if you have to have multiple things, just um, 
You know, you have to have m multiple suits of armor or something. Like, just give me unlimited carrying. Turbo says, hi, you hesitated. You're disgusting. JK, you're great. Dude, we, you know, this is the wasteland. Sometimes you got no choice. You got to drink from the, from the toilet. I'm going to go with this. Good, uh, good natured at heart. And we're done. All right. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it all. I'm going to check, um, make sure that I have, what, what was I looking for? Um, none of this stuff. Uh, maybe it's, I thought it would be display, right? General, okay, we have subtitles, dialogue subtitles and general. Uh, I'm going to tick the audio down a little bit more still. We'll turn voice and that down. We'll turn the master down a bit more. And that should be pretty good. You remember how that toilet looked? It probably had all diseases in the world in outer space. Well, I bet that it doesn't because I'm willing to bet that Doc also drinks out of the toilet. And I would ask him if I had the option, but I don't actually have the option, so I can't really... I can't really ask him, but he kind of, it kind of looks to me like he's keeping that toilet full of water for the drinking, right? Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you Did you fill me in? up with some toilet water? I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. Ooh. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such Doc a thing. Doc Mitchell is a vault dweller, huh? I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. You said he has a sink and a kitchen? But that stuff doesn't work in the nuclear wasteland, my dude. Um, uh, thanks for patching me up, Doc. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. Oh, good, okay. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And this the metal good. fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, A metal fella. You metal here, you fella. Come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yeah, I think getting killed once was um, good enough for me. New hardcore mode. We're not going to do that. No, 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 no. No, 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 thank you. I would get frigged up. Um, can I put on clothes now then? Whatever you say, J uh, Jake the toilet drinker. Oh, man. I'm never going to live this down. You drink out of a toilet one time and everybody wants to always bring it up all the time. I know about apparel. I've played a Fallout game before. So I have armored vault, uh, lightweight armor, lightweight metal. I think the lightweight metal is probably the best, right? I'm going to go with that. Do I have a hat? I'd like to have a hat. I don't believe that I have. What kind of weapon should I throw up? Uh, let's see here. Well, we got a 9 mil. We'll, we'll run with that for now. Let's see, what am I looking like? Looking looking fancy. I'd like to have a hat. Do you have a hat laying around here somewhere, my friend? Can you give me a hat, please? Um, oh, a stim pack. Anti-venom, stim pack, rad X. Uh, cigarettes. I don't need any cigarettes. Why does this guy keep trying to give me cigarettes? I took his doctor's bag. Now I'm going to pretend to be the doctor. Ooh, blood. You love to see it. Med X, I love to see it. My friend, how do you expect me to go out there without any hat? Are you kidding me? Uh, just don't drink from any more toilets or from chemical vials. 
I just picked up a lot of chemicals. I think I might try some of them. We'll see what happens. Um, there's gotta be, there's, you have to have a hat or, okay, just one for the road. Okay, two for the road. All right, Doc, I'm out of here. See you later, bud. Thanks for all the help. He was coming. I found the hat. Free guess, dude. Oh, it's hot. I need to put my hat on. The sun is baking my freaking head. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. That's a nice hat. That's like, um... Old World Blues has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. The reunion... Um... Courier 6 is signed Ulysses. Lonesome Road has been added. Your level cap has been... Okay. I think I'm picking up the DLCs right now. Level cap's been raised by five. That's actually a nice hat. He was walking to the toilet. Do you think he was going to use it, or was he going to have a sip out of it also? I'm still picking up more freaking... Gunner's Arsenal has been loaded. I'm picking up all the DLC. He, he went to piss? No, I think he was going not to use the toilet, but to... Uh, to drink, to have a taste, a little sip. Sierra Madre grand opening, dead money. All these friggin' DLCs, I think. Is that the metal feller? Are you the metal feller that I need to talk to? You don't think that he doesn't flush? Like, you think he's a, if it's yellow, let it mellow kind of guy? Do you think that he was filling the toilet Howdy, up partner. before Might I went I in there? <laughs> fit as a fiddle? Hey, uh, oh, it is Victor. Okay, thanks for digging me out of that grave, my no friend. Way. I appreciate it. You saved me. Uh, how'd you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off. I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Turbo said it proves... It only proves you're crazy. Well, I am talking to a TV screen robot right now, so... Uh, do you know who the men were who are yeah, attacking me? I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay. How'd you end up in Good Springs, my friend? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Interesting. Uh, Very interesting. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Never seen a robot like you before. I was a Maybe Bronco's I am crazy. Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. I think we're all just a little bit crazy. Turbo said, sorry, but my dog said I can't watch crazy people. Well, frig. I bet your dog drinks out of the Happy toilet. Trails. So who is he to who is he to judge? You know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Prospector Saloon. Is this where I was meant to go to? Is there anything I can, like, snag around here? Anything I can pick up? I'd like to pick some stuff up, maybe. Ooh, what is that? A crate. Sunset sarsaparilla. Oh, yeah, I'll have some of that. Oh, yeah. That sounds delicious. Uh, I actually don't know that I've ever drank a sarsaparilla. What does a sarsaparilla taste like? Hopefully it's good because I just picked up a whole buttload of them for free. Who are you? Easy Pete? Turbo dropping all them ch uh emojis in the chat he says that boss ross was uh walking with the dovahkiin they were going on their way to pick up some wings they were going to wing it but up drove a van with captain arthur and a floof dog they were crunching on some beans the dovahkiin actually he really likes beans but he's not supposed to have them anymore so he was going crazy boss ross says wt fudge don't eat those or you'll die and uh that's pretty much the way it went so what do you say about that easy Howdy. pete what can easy pete do for you I'm not crazy or anything. Um, you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one me? in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know hmm. more. Word fancy of advice, suit, though, eh? If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. 
Yeah, anybody with snake eyes, man, I don't trust that. Uh, why you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Oh, now Turbo says, oh yes, you are crazy. Definitely crazy. Yeah, but don't tell Easy Pete that. I'm trying to be friends. By the way, cool new emoji. Oh, you like the uh, Boss Ross one? Yeah, he's been donoing uh, memberships like bonkers. So, yeah, we, he's, uh, he gets his own emoji. You were a prospect. You're like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Hmm. Some folks just call it salvaging. Yeah, I would just call that like a uh, looter, maybe? The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Yeah, good like money in it. You're like a looter, I would say. Ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually <laughs> got too old to keep going out. Turbo says, hey, Pete. Hey, r crazy, run. He's crazy, run. No, dude. What's wrong with the NCR? I'm kind of Don't curious about the wrong. NCR. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Hmm. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Okay. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Is the Legion real bad? Um, I'm gonna leave, Pete. Keep um, your gun handy if you. Yeah, I'm not crazy or anything. So. Places around here, like the school. My name's Jabzol, by the way. Critters I don't know if I ever said that. Sometimes. Uh, my name's Jabzol. Give me all your money. Give me all your, give me all your money. <laughs> okay, maybe Pete doesn't. I'm just kidding. That was just a joke, Pete. That was just. I'm just kidding. Don't get so worked up about it. All right, whatever. I'm going in the saloon. Turbo says. Cheyenne, stay. Whoop, one second. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Ooh, a dog. A dog that's gonna bite me. Uh, Turbo said, three vans were driving when Boss Ross decided to drink beer and wing it. Um, and then the driver of the van died three times because there were three vans, there was three deaths. But there was also three Rosses, so I don't know if any of that makes any sense to anybody. <laughs> but uh, Doc Mitchell said, you could teach me how to survive yeah, the desert. Would I you do that for me? I could show you. Sunny Smile, Sounds like that's you a good need name. All the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what that means. I know exactly what that means. Let me get a, let me get some stuff here real quick first, though. Can I, anything I can just have? What do you got for free here in the saloon? Got any toilets? Oh, your toilet's broken. Frig. Working toilet. I'm parched. All that running around outside, you know, I just had to, just had to get a little drinky poo. What's up, dude? You got some delicious fine water here. What I meant by that story was don't drive drunk. True, yeah, that's a, that's a good lesson to learn, always. Yo, now, Sunny. See those sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, are you giving me a gun? Uh, to fire your weapon, push mouse one. Okay. Yo, she gave me a gun. Okay, I can zoom in. That's Pop. the right idea. Look down the site. Oh yeah, I'm looking down the site. Oh, I missed. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. That actually does make it a lot better. Nice it's kind of crazy. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell oh, you they're what, dangerous, aren't they? I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sounds good. I'm down. I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. And and also you're even crazier than I thought. Thought says Turbo. Well, I mean I had to get a drink before I left, right? Why am I moving real slow now? I was really fast in the in the house, and now I'm really slow. Oh, I'm crouched. Okay, I'm fast. It ain't crazy to drink from the toilet when you're living in a wasteland. We ain't got no clean water. 
All we got is the little bits that we can slurp up out of the bottom of the toilet. I do got me some sunset sarsaparilla. What are, are they called? Sunset sarsaparillas? I do got me some sarsaparillas, but you know that nothing hits the spot like that good toilet water. What up, dog? He looked like a wolf. Look at that wolfy dog. Your name ain't dog meat, though. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Like, what kind of uh, threat are geckos? Jake, you should probably stop drinking from those toilets. You'll die. I'm fine. Okay, I'm good. You're on. Go give them hell. Okay, you want me to kill geckos? Like, what are... What have geckos ever done? That's a... Dude, that thing looks like a little gremlin. That ain't no gecko. Oh! Whoa, 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 Holy frig, what is wrong with these geckos? Sunny smiles, what the fudge? What do you got on you? Gecko meat. Is it good for me? Is it good for me? I'm gonna eat it anyway. Those things are scary. See? getting the hang of it i guess man i don't well feel like i did much clearing. you want you can come along i'm down worth a few caps to me uh sure i'll come with Shouldn't you take more than a couple minutes especially with two of us come with me this is this is not what i was expecting when she said that we're gonna go outside the bar but it's it's all right i guess we're killing little gremlins turbos oh those are cute puppies <laughs> do you like the way they run Whoa! V, uh, v for vats. Okay, I know how to use vats. We're gonna pop them in the torso. Did I hit him? I don't know that I hit him! Holy frig! You little butthole. No, not the dog! Get off the dog! Holy cr- Did I even kill any of them? Or was- Was the- I think she's the one who did all of it. I think Smiles did it all. Where is she? Yo, where'd she go? I see geckos. I think there's geckos. And Turbo says they're puppies. Those ain't no type of puppies I want to be messing with. Help! I'm helping. Come on. Oh yeah, we're we're doing it. Did we do it? We saved the lady. It's a good spring settler. Let's get the stuff, and then we'll talk to Sunny. And I'm gonna have to sneeze. <laughs> Just hold your horses there, Sonny. I have to sneeze. Stop pushing. Wait, that's me. Pet these puppies? Uh, they don't they don't seem like they're very soft. They seem angry. Now that was some good work. Yeah, we did some gecko slaying. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making cool. useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. Couldn't hurt. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Xander root and a Brock flower. Think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Okay. Cool, Bring cool, those cool. on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Let's do it. I got a couple little questy markers. By a campfire on the trail. Okay, we gotta go pick up a couple things. If those are our geckos, what will snakes look like? Oh, I don't even wanna know. I don't even wanna know. What does everything look like? Like, what is this? It's a tin can. Okay, that's, not, that's nothing. <laughs> hmm. We're going we're gonna to find out. We got a long road ahead of us here in the good old Fallout New Vegas. So we're, we got plenty of uh, good old exploration to do. Plenty of things to find. Good old discoveries to make. I hope um, I hope this quest marker is taking me to the right place. She said that you can find these items. Uh, Tipper says, anyway, got to go for a little bit, but I'll come back. All righty, we may be on to um, Starfield by the time you get back, but that's uh, it's all good. You got lots of uh, things that you call puppies in Starfield also. <laughs> got lots of cousins. 
So is there like, what is this? Now what is this? What are you? Oh, 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 wait, it's a, I'm feeling woozy. I got popped by this thing and I'm feeling woozy. I'll say jabs old when I come back. Bark scorpion. He kind of, uh, he kind of stabbed me a little bit. I'm not feeling too good. What's Victor doing up? What just happened? Victor, help me, dude. Something bad just happened to me. Am I dying? Victor, I'm dying. Please. I need aid. Um, Venom? Do I take Venom? Anti-Venom? Oh, okay. Poison removed. Um, let's eat some cram. That should make me feel better. Am I feeling better yet? What a cute puppy of a pug, says Turbo. Yes, that is a pug. I'll drink a couple sarsaparillas. I'm mainly drinking from the toilet, so a couple of sarsaparillas will do me good. I see enemies. Yo, I may need more of that anti-venom if this is the way things are going to be here. There's more bugs. I'm shoosting bugs. I'm going in vats. Nope, I don't think I wanted to go for the head. Um, I want to go for the body. Let's pop him a couple good ones. God dang, is he tough. Why are you tough? Why are you buzzing around like that? You need to chill a little bit. He ain't going to chill, is he? Did I hit? I can't even tell. They're coming at me. I'm going to shoost the body. Did I hit? It's hard to tell if I'm actually hitting or not. Are you throwing things at me? Whoa. It's not very nice of you to throw things at me. Oh, I got one. I'm a, I'm a crack shot. Okay, now I can see his health bar on the bottom there. Where are you going? Yo, am I, am I actually hitting them? I can't even tell. Uh, weapon is in poor condition. That sucks. What is this? What did I just do? I don't know what that was, but I probably shouldn't have done that. I just popped something. Like a zit. Whatever it was. Ooh, look at that. That is that my my grave that I was in? What is this? Uh distinctive cigarette butt. Oh, I'm gonna take those, because if this is this is where I was shot, right? This is the graveyard. So maybe empty sarsaparilla bottles. Maybe we're gonna get some clues here as to like what what the heck happened to me. Why I was shot and uh, where to find the fellers who done did it. Maybe that's that's what I'm thinking. A snow globe of good springs. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. There's something specifically I'm looking for here, isn't there? She said to get some kind of root. I believe. Yeah, grows at the grave. What kind of root are we growing at the graveyard? Like, why can we transplant that somewhere else? Uh. Oh, I, I need a shovel. I can dig up graves. That's sick. That is sick. Not in a good way. I'm not seeing no friggin' roots growing around here. You mean to tell me that somebody plants roots up here in the graveyard? It's a little funky. I gotta remember to stop. Cr I keep running around crouching this whole time. That's not it. Is that pineapple? I ain't seeing no dang roots. It says keep out. There's all these uh, butt flies. A whole lot of butt flies. Whoa. I don't want to have to do this. Hey, how about you skedaddle? No. Oh, it's a coyote. Why don't you skedaddle? Yeah, that's what I thought. Skadoodle. He's not going to stop, is he? Are you going to jump off that cliff? Don't do it. You've got... You're a coyote. 
You got things to live for here, Coyote. But you gotta catch the road you friggin' idiot. Why are you biting me? Oh, dang it, dude. We could have been friends. You know that? God dang it. Oh, wait. What is this? Hey, it's a Brock flower. That's what I needed, right? I think that's what I needed. Something like that. See, now that one is an actual puppy. Well, not really. It's a coyote. It's like a wild dog sort of deal, but... That's that's what Turbo would call a monster. But then he sees these little friggin' gecko thing, calls that a puppy. He called this a puppy. This thing nearly killed me. What the frig? Alright, so now I gotta go to school. I gotta learn some things. I gotta pick up some knowledges. Is that corn? I can't... I'd be stealing that. What the heckle kind of creature is this? Are you friendly? Young Bighorner. Okay. It's a bighorn. You don't look you don't look too good. You don't look too healthy. Now, as for the next stuff, what did I need? Well, first of all, I think I need to find a schoolyard. That's what they said, right? Rose at the schoolyard. Hey, feller. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. What if I just, like, oh, I can't steal it. Or I could steal it, but it would be stealing. Dang it, dude. Can't I just have some stuff for free? Please? Why don't you give me free stuff ever? Dogs are barking. Oh, I can take that one. Barrel cactus fruit. Okay, that's tasty. I see an enemy. Who are you? Where are you? What is that? What are those little green things? Are they enemies? What are you? I don't like giant bugs. I really don't like a giant bug. Get lost. I think one shot should do it, right? Yeah, you would think one shot would do it. I mean, they're, they're just bugs, right? Mantis. Oh, those are mantises? Oh, that's gross. Nasty. So. Door to Good Springs Schoolhouse. Okay, so is it Xander Root? Nice. Okay, so now we can report back to uh, our friend. We got a little bit of a boop boop. Y'all know what the boop boop means. Except for I don't think any of you can hear the boop boop. I think that's just me. Back to Sunny Smiles. What a lovely name. I sure wish there was a toilet. All. I took a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. Do I have to refill that? Is that like... Is that like a requirement? Is that something I have to keep up on? Where is my... Is that in... Miscellaneous? Where is my Vault 13 canteen? Where do I... Okay. Uh, is that just something that happens? Do I need to actually fill it? Do I need to do things with it? How do I repair my gun? This is very um, much reminding me of Oblivion. I know it's not... Uh, wasn't it Obsidian that made this one and not Bethesda? But this feels very Oblivion. I can't sprint. I'm locked in one speed here. My weapons break and I have to repair them. And uh, also, like, sort of the graphics, like the way the characters zoom in and stuff. Well, this is not Bethesda. It feels very Bethesda. Hey, I see my friend down there. Now, please don't be angry at me for saying such a thing. Because I know how people are about stuff. Can I have that radio? 
playing some jams right now. Sunny. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. That sounds Go great. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. I'm down for that. That sounds delicious. I love me healing powders. Let's make it. Oh, it's easy to make, dude. You just click on a thing. And accept. How many? Yes. Hey, that's not bad, see? Hmm. All it takes to make a recipe pretty is good, the right huh? ingredients I'm pretty good. and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. I do actually. Important I need thing to, do to get that. is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Yeah, she likes hey, just chilling at the bar. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, I suppose we'll do that. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, she's going back to the pro. I'll go back to the prospector. I could go for a good old drink, a little drinky poo, just a little top off, you know, something light. Is there a map? Data world map? Can I? I'm neutral here in Good Springs, Good Springs Cemetery. Uh, you can travel. Okay, sick. We got fast travel. That's that's good to know. Yo, and it actually pops me right at the Prospector Saloon. You'll love to see it. Hey there, friend. Got any money yet? Did you pick up any money? I'm just kidding. I'm not robbing you. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Take it easy, Pete. All right, give me all your money. Nice. Who are you? You don't hand Ringo over soon. I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. What I'll, do you want? I don't like your tone here, buddy. Uh, what was that you said about Ringo? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Hmm. I don't like this guy. This area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Hmm. What were you in prison None for? Of your damn business. You ought to know oh, I better think it than is. ask a man that kind of question. Just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people, burn some things, killed a few guys. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to help him take over this town. He seems like a scrainess. Trudy! Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. She doesn't look old enough to be the town mom. I overheard your argument. What was that Looks all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone hmm. to come after him. Um, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Uh, powder gangers? Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? I'm gonna ask about the powder gangers. Chain gangs, really. I've never heard of nothing like the that. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Yeah, that doesn't sound smart. It was a big smart. escape not too long ago. <laughs> Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right, so uh, where's Ringo now? Or why not just kill Cobb and be done you with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. Um, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help. I think, he uh... Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Maybe I got to go talk to Ringo. Where's Ringo? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. All right. 
Uh, let's talk about something else. All right. Um, trying to tr track down the people who attacked me. You know anything? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I wasn't able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Hmm. Okay. Uh, did my attacker say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Uh, why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Um... Did I already ask where they were heading? I thought I already asked it. Where are they heading? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. The fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right. Um, I think I've talked to her enough. That sounds good. Goodbye. Be careful out there. Will do. Yeah, she doesn't seem old enough to be the town mom. I'm just going to have a quick little sippy poo of the toilet here. Real quick, just a little, little taste. All right, I'm out. I'm bailing. Thanks for the free drink, Trudy. I'll see you later. Oh, there's stuff I can steal. I can get on the computer. You don't mind if I get on the computer, do you? Um, you don't have a door here, so I'm, I, I don't think I can hide without a door. So, uh, thank you for stuff. And um, I need to find my way out of here. I'm lost. Goodbye. So... I'm guessing we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk to Ringo. We're going to take on some powder gangers or something like that. That sounds kind of interesting. All right, let's get ready to talk to Ringo. So I pull out my gun. He's in the gas station, right? That's hey there, Ringo. Enough. Who are you and what do you want with me? Name's Jibzol. Um, if you're gonna shoot, you better not miss. Or actually, if you do shoot me, you could probably kill me and I'll be back again because that's just how it happened around here. I just got shot the other day, and here I am. Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're Sorry asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got not used to people breaking start. into your gas station? Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Um... What are the rules? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that feature a Jab Zol. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Hmm. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. Man, I so, come in. This is. <laughs> you feel like playing a game? I come in here because this guy's like in some deep trouble with the powder gangers, and he's like, "Hey, so uh, I know you just walked in here with your gun out, and I got my gun out too, and we just met and all, but you want to play some cards? Let's play." Don't worry, I'm not that good of a player. Okay. I don't have any cards. Should I raise? Dude, Ringo's got in. Okay, I'm going to do 10. I'm not going to go bonkers here. Why is there money and caps? Let's uh, accept. Um. What do I do? I didn't quite get the rules here. I'm going to randomize. Okay, play caravan. Remove. Play caravan. Okay, we're going to see what happens here. I don't know what the heck is happening. I don't know the rules. But. I 
I have to get rid of a card. Do I have to get rid of it? It says discard card. Why did I discard that? Discard? What do I do? I just gotta discard cards? Why do I gotta do that? And I got three aces, man. That's a, that should be good. Why am I getting rid of it? No, I don't want to. What do I? What do I do, man? This is weird. Dude, I had three fives. I still have three fives. The one switch is from a five to a ten. How is that? Am I magic? Bro, <laughs> I don't know what to do. All I can do is discard cards. Am I going to win? I don't get it. What do I freaking do? What the butts is this game? How do I play this game? All it lets me do is discard cards. I want to do one of these things. I have no I have no maneuvers. I'm just going to run out of cards here cuz I don't know what the heck. I could just quit. Now what? I'm pressing every button. I'm doing all things. At least I only put 10 bucks in. I don't know what the heck that was. That game sucks, dude. All right, I'm going to talk to him one more time. That game is butts. I don't know what the heck what is it? What I was supposed to do. Um, you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking yeah. for you? He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a okay. much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Why are the powder gangers out to My get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, what are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now... If some of the other people in town were also on board. I'll ask around, see who I can round up. Let's round up a posse. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Alrighty, sounds good. Well, anyways, uh, we are going to save the game here. Let's, uh, let's go back outside. Let's get a quick save. Nice, okay. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the first episode of Fallout New Vegas. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so that way you don't miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord. You can come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel here on YouTube, it's only 99 cents to become a member. And that will get you a bunch of cool perks, such as access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. Season 3 is starting probably next month. We're just waiting on the 1.21 
version of Minecraft to drop, and then we're going to start playing on that again. I'm going to stream that on Fridays, I believe. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Also, merch. You can check out merch if you want. We got hats. Ooh, we got new sleeveless shirts for summer. It's going to be very nice. Uh, yeah, do that stuff.